everyone, thank you for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial, uh, or more like talk briefly about the tutorial that I will be doing for uh, the next couple of weeks, seriously. <laughs> I'm putting on hold, yeah, well, my cat. <laughs> Say hi, Nopi. Hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I'm putting on hold the Peak Comic once again because um, a convention is coming up and I'm making two new costumes for actually two conventions. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to be posting videos on how to make them. And I think you guys are going to probably find this one's useful. So let me show you what we're making. Um, unfortunately, I didn't print out any reference photos for the upcoming uh, costume. But I have photos of them, so I can just show you that, right? Let me show you. You'll be excited. Because I think a lot of you would find this useful. I'm serious. Because <laughs> when I was working on them, I did not find it, um, I quite, find it quite hard to find these types of stuff. But anyway, not this one, but I think you guys will find this one useful as well. But I'm making, um, Ryoko's Skip Beat, from Skip Beat, um, the, what is it, Love Me costume. So, we're going to be doing uh, and coveralls based on your things that you can find around your house instead of going out and try to find a pattern or buy a pre-made pattern if you can, I mean, save you time but we're going to make it from scratch since I don't have the pattern nor do I want to use patterns so a lot of you have been asking me about patterns I, I tell everyone this and I'm like, I'm the worst person to ask, I promise because I don't use patterns <laughs> I don't <laughs> Next one that you find, you probably find uh, useful is this. I'll be doing Roni Kenshin uh, or Kenshin. So uh, I'll be doing tutorial on how to make the kimono top. Oops. Yes, I'll be doing that too. But um, tutorial top as well as the um, hakama, the hakama, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the easy way, or more like my way of quick way of doing it instead of the legit way which I did for the first time and I was just like dying by the time I'm done <laughs> but um if you re if you guys follow me on Facebook or anything you remember my um Hakuoki, uh costume of uh what is it his name is Soji Okita Soji or something like that where that was my first Takama and I was just dying about the patterns and I just Oh, never again. <laughs> so I, I found an easier way or a quicker way and most of you probably know about it already or so this is aiming towards those of you who doesn't know about it and struggling to find it. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, as far as I know, there's, I know it's going to be, it's long already, I've been babbling, but um, let me just quickly show you the materials that we will be needing for this uh, two costumes that I'm going to be showing. Yeah, I'll probably be working on both at the same time. So Stay with me on this one, okay? I'm in the time crunch. <laughs> so moving on, um, let me just adjust my camera here. But moving on, uh, I want to show you guys what materials I use. I had the hardest time ever since I moved to the Midwest. I have a really hard time trying to find cheap fabric. <laughs> Literally, like, cheap fabric. Because anywhere you go, like, you have Joann's, which costs you at least, you know, 6 to 12 bucks for a yard. <laughs> I don't think most of us can afford that. Um, so it goes back to my... Uh, research and gatherings and all that stuff back in the other videos where a lot of it got to do with Goodwill. <laughs> I love Goodwill. But, you know, you just don't go in Goodwill and find um, pre-made clothes. No, because some of these you can't, like the kimono, for example, you can't go in and find pre-made clothes. Um, if you're lucky, yeah, congratulations, you know. But a lot of time we, we can't find it. Like, I can't even find a simple white dress for my... Um, Sadako cosplay. <laughs> but uh, either way, I'm probably going to be making that dress myself because it seems simple enough. Um, but instead of going in there trying to find pre made clothes, what do you do is you actually go in there and find bed sheets. <laughs> I got this for like half off too. Like they have those little price tags uh, for uh, coloring, those color price tags where a certain date you get 50% off. Well, I found this one. Luckily, I got, I got this for 50% off, and this is actually a bed sheet from Goodwill. Of course, when you bring it home, wash it throughout, because I think you will like that. Um, but you just need to remove all the little, you know, elastics in here, straighten it out, and then I'll show you how to cut it in upcoming videos. But this is where you're going to find it. I found my red fabric uh, for, like, less than $2 at Goodwill. So we're here. 
So after you find your top, you can do the same for your pants. Uh, hopefully you'll find something white at Goodwill and get the Hagama pants that way. Or for me, in my case, I actually found some at Walmart. They are this off-white grayish fabric and I really think it's accurate. So I bought a bunch of them, so luckily I found that. Um, I couldn't find it right now, so I can't show you because <laughs> it's lost somewhere in the midst of stuff. <laughs> so I need to find it, but that's the two fabric that you need. And of course you need white fabric for the inner um, kimono or I don't know the actual words, I'm just going to call it inner kimono for now. Okay, so for skip beat, what you need is a mm, stuff around your house, that something that fits you, um, that's loose. So my best suggestions would be a pair of pajamas. So I have one right now. It's you got yourself pajama pants that fits you or a size bigger if you prefer to be like me who, you know, try to fit your best <laughs> or have stuff under there. Um, and then you need the top, of course. Here's the top. Uh, I'll show you how to do that when we work on the video. And of course, you'll find your fabric color. In this case, I try to find something more accurate. And I don't have a choice in, I couldn't find the hot pink I want. And I don't want those flimsy fabric either. So I actually found some corduroy fabric at Hobby Lobby. Um, they are $8.99 a yard. You can buy them online. But uh, usually, Hobby Lobby has their 40% off coupon that you can use online or in the store. So I use it online. I only ended up paying less than what I should be paying. <laughs> I got myself about, measure yourself of course, assuming how much uh, you need and always get extra in case you're screwed up. So I got some extra for myself. So this is the fabric I will be using for my awesome colors. <laughs> But yeah, that's the project we will be working on. Um, oh, and for the shoes, she wear these um, Converse type of shoe, and if you, you don't want to spend like $50 on a new pair of Converse, uh, Goodwill <laughs> would be your answer. I got lucky, and I found this pair of like white Converse, just straight knockoff, whatever, because you know, you only, you only wear it for the convention. You're not going to wear it forever. I don't wear shoes anyways. So what I did is I went to Goodwill. Luckily, I found into one where it's a white pair of um, Converse imitation shoe sort of thing. So all you need to do is really just take a red marker or a permanent marker and just cover around the shoes and you're good to go. Um, other than that, work everything else, take care of it and you know, you should be good. The only thing we need to worry about is the actual costume itself. So, Alright, well that's it for this video. I know it's long and draggy and all that stuff, but it will be the introduction to the next two costumes we'll be working on. So I hope you guys will stay tuned because I will need to get it done before December 6th, <laughs> whenever Anime Crossroad is. And whoever's going to Anime Crossroad, I hope to see you guys there. I'll be in Artist Alley and uh, look for the one in Hot Pink or Roni Kenshin. And I might actually dress up as Noctis as well from Final Fantasy Versus 13. So, um, you know, hopefully stop by, say hi, and I will see you guys there. Um, see you in the next video where we actually will start working on the costume and with the whole pattern making and stuff that won't take as much hard work as you think. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.